Hi there. Today we're going to show you how to use Zoom to show a presentation on an iPad or an iPhone. There are some simple settings we have to do first. Uh, so I'm going to show you on an iPad and I will explain as I uh, get to certain places that are different on an iPhone so that you'll understand what you need to do on an iPhone. Okay, so I'm going to click settings first. I need to go into the control center, click customize controls, and you'll see up here I have screen recording already active. Uh, if you have a new iPad, it will probably be down in this section down here. All you do is click the plus key next to it and it will bring it up to here. So that's the first step. The next step is that you don't want things popping up on your, uh, don't want things popping up on your presentation, so notifications, emails, uh, text messages, those kinds of things. So you're going to turn on do not disturb. And remember to turn it back off if you want to have those notifications come back after your presentation. But remember to do this before you start a meeting and it will uh, res resolve you having those pop-ups happen. Okay, so I'm pressing the home key again. It takes me back out. Now the first thing I'm going to do is start my presentation. I want to have it ready before I start my Zoom. So I use docs to go you can use whatever application you want. docs to go is a way for me to have PowerPoint, um, Word, Excel, other documents that are Microsoft documents on my iPad. And it was a paid subscription for this. It was a one-time purchase, but it was worth it to me and I love this application. But there are many others out there that are free and if you are able today to show on your iPad anything, you'll still be able to do that with Zoom without docs to go But since that's what I'm using, I'm going into docs to go and I'm going to pick the PowerPoint presentation that I want to share. It'll bring it up and queue it. So now I have my first page. I press the home key again to bring me back and start Zoom. So now when I get into Zoom, I'm going to start a meeting. So I'm going to meet now. I'm going to click uh, share, screen share meeting because I'm going to be sharing my screen. Now I will double click on an iPad which brings me to this screen. If I were to want to see this on an iPhone, on the right-hand side, this whole section over here is, is what I'm trying to look at. And so I'm gonna be selecting this record button right here. If I want this on an iPhone, I simply, where my home button is, put my finger, one finger, and slide up across the screen, and this will pop up. So you can see that the do not disturb is on, so good, that's on. And then I'm gonna press this button and hold it down. And what happens is this screen pops up and that enables me now to scroll down. I may have to scroll up or down depending on how many apps that you have in here um, to be able to see the uh, Zoom. And you check the box for Zoom and then you start the meeting. So down on the bottom there, you click start, and this is the screen that will pop up once the recording has begun. So what it's actually doing is not recording it. Now I press the home button again, I'm back into Zoom. So now I can be on Zoom and do whatever it is I'm gonna do on Zoom. I can uh, be talking, I can be showing a presentation, I can have other people on this call, and when I'm ready to do my presentation, um, it's going to actually be showing the presentation. So I'm gonna double click, I'm going to go to my documents to go, which will then open my presentation. You, if you're not using docs to go, whatever, wherever your presentation is, you simply select it and there it is. So you are seeing on this, the Zoom, everyone is seeing these slides and I'm simply dragging my finger across the screen to move them back and forth. And this is how it works. Uh, when you're finished, be sure to turn off the do not disturb so that your notifications will come back and you're, you're finished with the presentation. You can press and hold down this button and stop the share and that will stop the feature from running on your computer. So that's all there is. If you have any questions, get back to me. Thank you.